Ladies, gentlemen, and friends, thank you for your presence and attention. Thank you for your interest in helping the less fortunate and any in generosity. I was born in Santiago de Chuco, way up in the Andes in northern Peru. I'm here to tell you that up there, there is beauty, love, and kindness. There's beautiful natural scenery, fresh air, and wild flowers. The residents love suffer, and have aspirations just like we do. Very few have the opportunity and the joy to overcome their circumstances. In the same place where there is joy and beauty, there is also malnutrition, poverty, and sickness. Five years ago, my cousin Pablo Perez invited me to visit the local hospital to deliver two boxes of medicine. He is an internal medicine doctor in Georgia. I'm an infectious disease doctor in Central Florida. We were both born in Santiago de Chuco. We both played in these streets. We ate omitas and enjoyed the patron saint festivities. We were both fortunate to become professionals. Esteemed listener, you will only be able to understand us after you have joined us on a medical mission to Santiago. Then you will understand that that mission to donate two boxes of medicine was a visionary opportunity. A bittersweet sensation that reverberates in our minds every day and that becomes a reality every time we return to our land. Because that mission showed us homeless grandparents, malnourished children, and people with manageable conditions with the appropriate means. Let me tell you that in the US, we take for granted the fact that we have gloves, hospital beds, basic surgery equipment and medicines. What would you say if the doctor that is examining you does not have a place to wash his hands, does not have cast to mold your broken bone, or there simply is no medicine for your pneumonia? The inhabitants of Santiago de Chuco accept malnutrition, unemployment, parasites, and premature death like normal occurrences. That is why Andean Generosity was born five years ago as a means of helping and serving the needy. All our relatives and friends supported Pablo and me. Our friends, our Perez family, and you allow Pablo and me to relive that bittersweet sensation in our souls with each yearly medical mission to Santiago de Chuco. If the eyes are the windows to the soul, there the looks of gratitude of the needy fill our hearts with joy. That is why we always go back to Santiago. In the United States, there are many different organizations. Maybe you participate in helping to prevent animals from extinction, or to help battered wives, or support Alcoholics Anonymous. Maybe you're a part of the Rotary Club, or Lions Club, or you donate money to the Red Cross. But tell me, who takes care of those children in Santiago? Those ill without access to medicine, that hospital in ruins. In Santiago, there are students whose schools have very rudimentary materials. There are no books, pencils, the desks are uncomfortable, and the walls are about to fall. But the future citizens are learning there. Poets and painters were formed in the old downtown because there you will find natural beauty with genetic capacity like in any other place in the world. A seed planted in good soil, with good nutrients and full of light, will grow strong and will give good fruit. The same seed in the desert will not do the same. Pablo and his manager, Miriam Lemon, organized a July medical mission each year. I help them and I also participate. In the last four years, we've had American doctors come with us in specialties like surgery, gynecology, cardiology, hematology, and psychiatry. We've also had nurses, pharmacy techs, medical students, and just good-hearted people. Miriam worked hard at sending an ambulance donated by the county of Whitfield, Georgia, as well as numerous wheelchairs, medicines, and love. Each year, the medical mission grows 
Peruvian professionals have also joined, including dentists from the cities of Trujillo and Iquitos. Dr. Artemio Burga, a renowned Peruvian ophthalmologist, has performed many free cataract surgeries in the last two missions. Surgeons and gynecologists from Georgia have gone repeatedly. They have even brought along their family members. They understand that our purpose is to serve. The American professionals share experiences with the locals in healthy symbiotic professionalism. The CPR classes by the Californian cardiologists for the hospital staff were excellent. A cesarean brought a baby girl to this world and lots of joy for the nurses who were present. One day, the power went off during an appendectomy with a spinal anesthesia. The nurses immediately took their cell phones out to provide illumination. The patient's anguish was calm with the tender strokes and the voice of his nurse, Terry. Friends and family not involved in medicine are also important. They help with getting the patient charts, controlling the masses, directing the patients, teaching the children basic hygiene like washing their hands, their teeth, and daily activities like giving thanks and singing with joy. We also have the program I Learn Better If I Am Well Nourished. We have completed the second school year in which we give breakfast to 21 kids in an elementary school. There are many other children, but we cannot solve everything. Our 21 kids are privileged. They are taught good manners and good behavior. They are taught that they will get far by means of their education. We give them toys and snacks periodically to remind them that we care about them. We teach them the importance of work, respect, and learning, just like our grandfather, Jose Socrates, taught the Perez family. Dear listener, let me tell you that if you are still debating helping us or coming with us on a mission trip, there is another incentive, the patron saint festivities. The main days are July 22nd through the 25th. There, the visitors can observe how the locals celebrate the festivities of the Apostle James. You'll have an opportunity to try the local food, music, and folklore. You can see the love and enjoy and celebrate. In these festivities, the visitors are not merely observers, but participants. Before finishing, let me tell you that Pablo and myself, our family and you, who help us, we will continue. The local authorities applaud our efforts. They have given us recognition through diplomas and have even assigned us a plot of land. We want to return every year and maybe even establish a more permanent presence. We dream of building a clinic that will see patients with improved equipment and facilities. It will be a difficult task, but if we don't dream it today, it won't become a reality tomorrow. We also want to build a dorm, Casa del Membrillo, where all participants will be able to stay with comfort and harmony, where you will feel at home. To summarize, our 21 children will continue to grow and become adults. They will continue our service and they will guide other children. The health of the population will improve. There will be less malnutrition and like that the objective of service toward the locals will become a reality. For Pablo and myself, Andean generosity means helping the needy without expecting anything in return. Please allow me to end with a few questions. What would you say about seeing grandparents being prepped for cataract surgery, wearing plastic bags from the market because there are no head nets? What would you say if you were offered to be operated 
in an inadequate operating room with a lab that only exists by name? What if you were glad to be in surgery with a competent surgeon and nurses and suddenly the power shuts down during surgery? What would you say if you were diagnosed with a fracture? Do you have to go six to seven hours by car to get a cast? Even worse would be to get diagnosed with cancer. And what can you tell me about the look of a child that mirrors acceptance and poverty and an unsure future? In Santiago de Chuco there is dust, little electricity. There is no hot or potable water. In Santiago there is extreme poverty and sickness. But in Santiago there is a natural humanity, able to overcome and get far. Will you open your heart to the people of my town? We participate in the PAMS activities, Peruvian American Medical Society. This is the American entity that joins Peruvian doctors in the U.S. PAMS oversees our expenses and donations. Please look for us and visit us in their section, Santiago de Chuco Medical Mission, at www.pamsnational.org. Thank you.